I remember the fair housing issue. It was a very, very hot issue in this state. And uh, we had some rough legislative battles. You, you can't imagine now because people are live in this situation. But uh, I can remember uh, the debates and people saying, I have a piece of rental property and I have a right to rent to whom I want to rent to. If I don't want to rent to a black person, I'm not going to rent to a black person. If I don't want to rent to a Jewish person, I'm not going to rent to a Jewish person. If I don't want to rent to a Italian, I'm not going to rent to a Italian. I want to, my type of person, I want an Irish American or whatever it is. I'm, people say I have a right as a property owner to rent to whom I want. And uh, this was a very hot issue because the other side said, no, wait a minute. Anyone who could meet certain qualifications should have an opportunity to rent. If they, I mean, if they keep up the apartment, if they pay their rent and all that, it shouldn't make any difference what their sexual orientation was or what their color was or whatnot. A terrible fight. And uh, you had the property rights people versus the people interested in social justice, as I would say. And uh, we had many votes on it. Uh, we finally were successful. But it was a tight, tight vote, as I remember, tight votes when we had a finally came up with a fair housing bill in this state. But uh, I can remember some of my Democratic colleagues from Milwaukee fiercely opposing that. It was not, it was not a party idea. You had Democrats and Republicans supporting it, and Democrats and Republicans opposing it. And that was the era before you had the partisan polarization that you now have in the legislature. That was an area when maybe the urbans versus the rurals, or the north versus the south, or the rich versus the poor, or, or whatnot. Uh, you had a different, different fights rather than Democrats versus Republicans. That was a, one of the most bitter legislative activities. I can remember the Vietnam War when the uh, students uh, circled the Capitol, set up tents out there, and lived out on the Capitol grounds, and when they had the uh, uh, when they had the National Guard in here uh, protecting the Capitol, now uh, legislators had to be, uh, some of them had to be ushered through the, the crowds to get into the Capitol. It was quite a time. Um, and um, as a veteran, uh, I uh, uh, had some sympathy with the Vietnam approach, not with the, not with the bombing of buildings or the uh, violent approach, but I was uh, quite sympathetic with the anti-Vietnam activities going on. And uh, it was another very emotional episode. Both of those episodes, quite frankly, were maybe more emotional than the current episode, which, which is the most emotional right now, the, the pro-anti-Walker, the pro-anti-collective uh, uh, bargaining. Right now, we feel this is the big issue, but I can remember Vietnam was a, was a hot issue, and, and then the emotions ran much harder. I think they were higher, and, and they, the emotions are high now, but they ran awful high then. In fair housing, it was a very, very uh, personal thing to a lot of people. Uh, but we go through these stages, and uh, right now, the big issue is, uh, is uh, the reactionary activity of our current legislature and current governor as far as I'm concerned.